Howdy folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, the Mighty Bjorn, and today for you I have a Blade Runner playthrough video. This is the next part. I have just found the girl that I've been looking for. She was working at Early Cues as a stripper, and, well, she ended up calling in some muscle to knock me out. So once again, I am held captive. Anyway, folks, not too sure what's going to happen next. Let's let the footage roll, and I will join you after the footage is over. This was no precinct house I'd ever been in, and I thought I'd been in them all. The grunt to my right had the beefy harness bull look down pat, and his twitchy partner in the suit looked like he was just itching to chainsaw a couple of kneecaps. Other than that, Everything was hunky-dory. Impersonating a police officer, huh? I guess the new Nexus models are a little more creative than the old ones. I'm a Blade Runner. You don't believe me? Call Lieutenant Guza. There ain't no Guza in the LPD. Unless I've been walking around in a dream, there is. That's what always bugs me. Yeah, the fact that these skin jobs always gotta live someone else's life. No shit. Just make the call, damn it. <gasps> You're just a piece of shit rep with memory implants of this Guza guy, you understand? <laughs> That's impossible. Rep ain't sounding so creative now. Huh? You want to avoid comp me? Be my guest. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. Very convincing. Where you been hiding? The Kipple? Gregorian bring you in? Now who else is working that side of the pool these days? I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, what about that bastard selling all that stuff downtown? Hey, shut your trap. I'll tell you something, McCoy. I don't even care how you go out. But I know you can feel pain. And on that account, I'm your man, see? You tell me about everyone you met through cars, and I'll guarantee you will go real easy. Your breath smells like you wiped your ass with your teeth. <laughs> You're gonna wish you was neck deep in an off-world reactor vessel by the time I get through with you. Fire up the chair, Holly. You know what I'm gonna come back as in my next life? A priest. There's something holy about how good I am at this. Go for it. You got any idea how glad I am to see you? No time for chit chat, Slim. You want to save your ass? We gotta blow this joint right now. What the hell took you so long? Good thing you made your entrance when you did. Good thing one of my snitches saw them escort you out of the club. Otherwise, you'd be three quarters in the bag right now. They must have been phony cops hired by the reps for protection. Cops, yes. Phony, no. I remembered Baker. He used to be an SID expert on coercive technique until he was fired from the force a couple years ago. A mercenary? Bingo. He won't have to worry about getting paid no more. That stripper you interviewed, she's one of them. Figure it out. She must have made the call to Baker and that other bozo. Let's attend to some business. I'm there. Nice crowd. Regular folks steal, just like you and me. Speak for yourself. You see it anywhere? Not yet. You sure she's in here? I'm gonna look backstage. Check the balcony and cover the exit. I don't want this one giving us the blow off.
You see it, Slim? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Let's smoke it out. Hope Early's got insurance. Putz employs replicants. He ought to expect the worst. We could have taken her out in a more discreet way. What's this her crap? It's an it, remember? A goddamn machine. Come on, let's blow while it gets good. It's around here somewhere. Where'd you park it? I'm telling you, it was right here. Damn thing must have been stolen. Maybe you're living in an alternate reality, Slim. Attention all units. All points bulletin has been issued for Ray McCoy. Formerly BR-61661. Confirm one civilian kill. Ezo. Considered armed and dangerous. What the hell is that? Maybe they just want to bring you in for questioning. I didn't kill Ezo. Maybe they think you're not what you think you are. Are you saying I'm a rep? Come off it! The look on your face after that last one? The minute you start to feel something for skin jobs, you're in big trouble. Maybe I just got too much empathy. In all the wrong places. You want to put me on the machine? Hey, I don't want anything, Slim. You're the one they want. Detective Steele, BR-61354, report to headquarters immediately. Code blue. What are you going to do? Take me in? No matter what they say, you're not on my list yet, Slim. You know what that means. And there's no use juicing you if I can't make some honest chinion off it, you know? I never appreciated your baser instincts so much. Guza must have messed up somehow. I'll check it out, see what's going on, and then... We'll be meeting again, Slim. You can bank on it. You got a deal. I get cracking before I change my mind. Good God! Your old fogey stuff makes me want to spew. Excuse me, but I was listening to music. Geek, hoodlum, dork, freak. There is someone at the door. Speak. I have a return package for Mr. Luther Lance. A return? From where? Emil Bunsiter. Maybe one of the chimps blew a gasket and tried to bugger him. They're not available. Come back later. I told you those strains were unstable. Runciter must have discovered the fakes. Relax. Runciter's a simp. Not even old man Tyrell could have spotted those beauties. 20th century like a real drug man. Who the here? piss do you, you think you are? Blasting that we have a strict like a couple no of goddamn policy. cowboys. Ooh! Gentlemen, take a moment to evaluate your situation. Look, there's very little to steal here. If you can haul out one of the statues, be our guest. We look like thieves to you, man? Uh, no. You look like a couple of goddamn... <clears throat> take a good, long look. Aha! Uh -huh. Just the people we were hoping to see, right, Lance? Huh? Nexus 6? And you came to us. Return to you, my brothers. To ask your help. Unfortunately, we don't work for the Terrell Corporation anymore. You've been continuing your research, I trust. Yeah, of course. Something drives us on. The common bond. Can you have greater miracles than these? Brothers, my brothers. Take a good, long look. Oh. My. God. Well now. Shall we begin? You wake up one day and find it's all been a dream. Or you wake up and discover you've been asleep all the time and the nightmare is real. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know who I was. A cop dangling on the short end of the stick or a rep whose memory banks had run out. One thing I was sure of was that I didn't kill Izo. That I know I experienced. And this misinformation, maybe it was the key to everything that was happening. Maybe there was a lot more than what met my eye. All I had to do was stay alive long enough to find out.
All right, folks, I'm going to wrap the footage up at that, but it seems like I'm uh, going to be trailing through some sewer shit now and trying to figure out my next move as it looks like it. I've been framed for a murder. Anyway, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this Blade Runner video, and hopefully I'll see you for the next one. Thank you very much for tuning in, and have yourself a wonderful day.